When you experiment with alcohol, surprises are bound to happen. For the last two weeks, I've been fermenting four different samples of honey water to see which of them will produce alcohol the quickest. If you're new here, this is how mead is made, and my goal here is to see how different yeasts affect fermentation. To test this, I'm taking weekly measurements to see how quickly the sugar levels are depleting, which indicates that alcohol is being produced. Check out the first few videos in this series if you're still not sure what's going on. So initially, I recorded a gravity of 1.074, and these were the values from last week. As you can see, they are ordered from lowest gravity to highest gravity. In the last week, something crazy happened in this race, and 1118 has passed D47 by dropping lower and is now tied with 1116. Sometimes charts can give you a better idea of what's going on, but essentially the closer to 1.0, the more alcohol has been produced. You can see that they all started from the same spot up here, and they're pretty much racing down to the bottom. They're all fermenting relatively steadily, but you can see that jump by 1118 here, and in one week, that's pretty wild. Will 1118 continue its rally? Will 71B retain the lead? Let me know what your thoughts are so far and what you think will happen. Make sure to follow and stay tuned for the final results.